from Texas Starlings. We're here for the title matches of the 2013 Las Vegas main event. This is the girls scratch division. Top seed Elise Bolton looking to become only the second bowler to win two main event singles titles. But she's got to get through the red hot Stephanie Zavala who's won three games to get to this match out of the number five seed. But oh. And again, the jinx of me turning the camera on is she uh, chops the 6, 9, 10 there. She's got 113 through 6, and that flip-flops her lead into a 3-pin deficit. Up quickly here in the 7th, now working on the open. We're on a brutal lane condition. It's short, pretty flat, and low volume. And I guess that ball to set up right in the 1-3 pocket. Nice recovery from that open frame. More hand rotation than almost any other girl I've seen. She really hits up on that ball. Using a piece that's able to get to the pocket and really kind of roll out. It's worked great for her in this step ladder. Brent Bowers, the only other bowler, won main event twice. He won main event scratch singles twice against really big fields. I didn't think that was possible. Elise won the girls scratch singles title back in 2011. From Florida, the Nebraska Collegiate Star, team, Junior Team USA Star, gets the light hit to carry there and maintains that three pin lead. Lane conditions dictate the scoring pace. The cut was very, very high in the scratch division, in the handicap division. The cut was very, very low in the scratch division. Here's why. Here's the handicap pattern. Look at that cliff of oil around the 10 board on either side. Catch Elisa's shot here and we'll show you the difference in what they're bowling on right now. Huge shot for here in the eighth. Doesn't climb the hill as it was just a pinch right. Here's why it didn't climb the hill. Look at the difference in the shape on that graph. That's not, not the actual pattern. That's a tape run at a specific length of the pattern. That's pretty darn close to flat. No forgiveness left, no forgiveness right. Short volume so the ball wants to check on you. Hard and straight at the spare is a great idea. <coughs> That's probably why she made the title match. Nicely converts the difficult 2-5 to maintain the lead. <coughs> Parents are already ripping apart my set behind me, taking apart the <laughs> everything. I don't blame them. That was Alexis' very happy dad here. Will it fall? Oh, what a, what a break for Stephanie. That ball's rolling out. I don't know if I have enough energy to even touch the 10. It love taps it. It looks like it wasn't going to fall left, so it falls right. She retakes the lead with that fantastic carry right there. My goodness. Stephanie, a high school senior, going up against a college senior in Elise. College scouts are going to be watching this video, I guarantee. I don't know if she's got her plans finalized yet, but this could go a long way to helping her. Mm. Sometimes those rollout shots trip fours pretty well, not to be that time. So we'll have a six pin lead if she converts this four pin. Great frames. Again, good form and good idea on the spare. She's switching to a very low surface friction ball. They should be bowling down there. Please tell them to start. Exactly. No one listens to directions. Good help's hard to find. All right, here's Bolton trailing by six, ninth frame. We know she can be a champion. She's going to have to come up with some hits here to make it happen this year. Oh, man. Good news, bad there's there. It's not her best shot, but it looks like a Brooklyn could have carried. Instead, it's one of those sort of high Brooklyn 10 pins. Not the ball she wanted there, but boy, is it tough to strike. Minus 195 was the girls cut for eight games. So that's uh, average in the 170s. Only two girls, including Elise, were plus after match play, and that's after eight games of 30 bonus pins. So, filling frames was absolutely key. Catch a double when you can. Both ladies here have one open. Elise is in the first. 
Stephanie's in the seventh. So it's just a matter of count is what it's come down to here so far. Up rather quickly here in the tenth. Left again. And the five pin to shoot at. If she spares this up, Stephanie Zavala, who's been unable to win a JBT title in Scratch Your Handicap, will have a chance to mark to win the main event. She's got two women's series titles, but that's just sort of a little side event thing we do during regular events. This is a whole different ball game from that. Count's still a little important here, a really short count. And Stephanie wouldn't even have to mark, so I think seven here, right? Seven here is enough. Now there's the ball she won all the rest of the time. Good fill ball, but what an opportunity right here. Her whole family back here. That's Pop on the B camera. Mom doesn't want to talk about it right now. Brothers are here. This is the shot of her career for a JVT major title. Just about any mark will do it. Certainly. Left. Oh my goodness. And there aren't many things besides splits I would want to shoot less than a 369 right now. That sleeper pin is a nightmare. If she spares this up, she will have really earned this title. That is an ugly spare. You just got to trust yourself, throw your best shot at it. She is going to switch balls. Oh, that's got a hook. Oh, that's got a hook. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Open in the 10th. And on the bench, Elise Bolton is a two-time main event champion. Oh, my goodness. What a heartbreak for Stephanie. She bowled so darn well all weekend long. But Bolton gets away with it and takes another win home to Florida. Oh, hate it when the matches end like that. Well, Stephanie will be back. She is a rapidly improving star among the JBT females, and we'll see her again. But congrats to Elise. It's a great way to wrap that up. Men's Scratch title match coming up next in our third part. Chan and Dempsey should be a good one. Should be a slow one because Riley's in it, but we'll talk about that in a second. Back for